Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm your host Veteran Mountain Man and it's another Spiritual Thursday. Today's topic I wanted to cover was the idea and concept of charity. Now, many people seem to think that the idea of charity is specifically a Christian concept. It realistically is not. Charity's been around as long as human beings have been thinking as a self-aware species. The idea of charity is giving to someone else who can't do for themselves simply out of the goodness of your heart or simply because you can. Now, a lot of people talk about the fact that charity is a a moral act, and it, it is. It's something that you're doing because you are helping another being. However, charity does get out of hand. Uh, charity is not supposed to be a lifestyle. It's not supposed to be something that you maintain at a constant level. Uh, not to any one individual anyway. So what do I mean by that? Well, for example, the amount of money and food that the United States federal government pumps into Africa at this point is not charity. It is not. It is literally propping up failure. Uh, And that's not what we need to be doing. We should allow failure to take its course and allow them to succeed on their own. Because by succeeding on their own, they will become better for it. You can't prop up failure and expect people to stop failing. And even the ideas of Christian charity state that an able-bodied individual should be able to do for themselves when you look at things such as the parable of the talons. So, when it really comes down to is helping those that are really in need of help and helping those that can help themselves to get back up on their feet. It's actually two different parts. And so the thing you have to do when you're, when you're looking at charity as, as a pagan or as anyone is you need to make sure that you're not being taken advantage of. It's perfectly acceptable to help somebody who is able-bodied get on their feet. It's actually a good thing because it helps society become stronger and better. It is also okay to help somebody who cannot help themselves at all. Uh, Somebody who is crippled beyond the capability of helping themselves or somebody who just out and out cannot do for themselves. That being said there is a certain amount that we can handle of that. And we can't bring more in just because we feel bad for these people. We need to be careful about that. Because eventually you get to where there are too many people to help and you don't have enough resources to help them. So what we have to do is we have to get those who are able to help themselves to stand up and those that are not able to help themselves be minimal. Uh, the more we allow the, the second population to grow as a society, the harder and harder it is to help them. Because the less we have to help them with. So it's kind of a dual-edged responsibility there. So that's one of the reasons I recommend you always check out just how much of your donation, any charitable donation you give, actually ends up in the hands of those you're trying to reach. And I recommend that you you donate to a very efficient charity, or you donate time and effort into your charitable works. And that way you can directly impact those that you see need help. And you don't have to necessarily give money. Well, I want to thank you all again for joining me on this lovely Spiritual Thursday. Please don't forget to follow me at unapologeticpagan.com or at my other social media sites, which are listed down below. Also, don't forget to check out the other content on unapologeticpagan.com. I'm not the only contributor. There are many. And as always, have yourself a beautiful day.